Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you how in Windows we can create zip files, tar files, and other types of archive-based files using a tool called 7-zip. So 7-zip, if you don't already have it, you can pick it up at 7-zip.org. The download link is right at the top of the page, and once you go ahead and install it on your computer, whenever you right-click on a file that's anywhere on your computer now, there'll be a new menu called 7-zip which will give you some options relating to archive files, including add to archive, or if you want to quickly create a zip archive, you can simply add to the name of the file .zip. You can also do the 7-zip format, add to the name of the file .7z. So if you click on one of these two options, it's going to immediately create that archive in the form of a zip file, or a 7-zip file. You can open it up and you would be able to see the file actually contained within the zip archive. But if you want to do it in different formats, then what you'll need to do is select a file or multiple files, go to right click, 7-zip, add to archive, and here it'll give you a larger menu with a lot of different options. Generally speaking, you don't need to worry about these extra options very much. So you can simply go to archive format and choose the type of archive you want to create, whether that's .tar, .zip, .7zip, or any of these other types of archives. So if you want a tar file, just select tar from the list. So that's going to create a .tar file for you. Now one more thing I'll show you in this video is how you can add extra files to a tar or a zip that you've already created. So if you have this .zip file and you want to add files to it, just take your extra files and drag them into the archive window, let go, and hit yes to are you sure you want to copy files to archive. So it'll take a second here, and after all the files are copied, they should show up inside of this .zip file. As long as you're opening the .tar .zip files up inside of 7-zip, it will work exactly the same way for if you want to copy new files in. Now, if you actually want to delete files, you can select them inside of the archive. So, for instance, I can take this .jpg snapshot, and I can click delete here in the menu bar, or I can right-click it and hit delete, or you can hit the delete key on your keyboard. So, if you find the file you want to get rid of in that archive, you just select it, hit delete here, and you're good to go. So now that you know how to create and edit zips and tars, you'll be able to send many files as one attachment to friends or coworkers, or uploading to some site out there on the internet. So that's going to be it for this video on how to create zip stars and other forms of archive files inside of Windows 10 using 7-zip. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.